uh, a few students were having trouble with the Firebase activity. I thought maybe it would be easier if I just kind of worked through it with you uh, so you can see how to set everything up on the screen. There is a video if you go to, to uh, uh, Canvas <clears throat> and uh, if you go to the repo then you'll be able to um, uh, see that there's this video you can follow through. Um, I would encourage you to go ahead and do that. But uh, this, this Git repo actually has a few of the bugs fixed, and uh, I would encourage you to go ahead and follow through with that. So anyway, the thing you might do is go ahead and uh, clone this repository on your um, uh, Cloud9 environment. And so uh, here I am. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get clone this thing and it will go ahead and create this Firebase directory for me. Here I can do a, a npm install and uh, install all of the packages that are needed for it. Um, again, if you uh, uh, remember, all of this stuff is going to be included in the package.json file. And so it will have all the dependencies. Um, among these are um, some packages to go ahead and uh, use with Firebase. So um, at some point, that's going to finish. You're now going to need to log into Firebase. And so uh, you, if you haven't been there before, you're going to have to uh, create an account. You can log in with your Google account and then go to the console. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is add a project. And we will say maybe this is going to be something like Firebase blog. And uh, at that point, um, I would say don't enable analytics or it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. It'll now go ahead and create your project for you. And uh, <clears throat> um, if you go back to the tutorial, it's going to kind of let, let you walk you through this one at a time. So we've now created a project. And uh, once we're inside here, uh, it's, our, my new project is ready for me, this Firebase blog. And now I can say I want to create a new web application. And uh, I can say 260 blog here <coughs> if I want to. You'll notice it also says you could set up Firebase hosting if you wanted to host there. We're actually just going to host on your Cloud9 instance, so we won't do that right now. Um, I now am going to wait for this to uh, be set up. I'm now going to uh, uh, want to do some of this stuff. Uh, npm install Firebase inside of my Cloud9 thing. And so uh, it will then... Uh, tell me everything I've got here and uh, it's also going to say tell me that we need to throw this initialize app thing into my project so let's see um, we would like this to uh, uh, copy this thing and if uh, all goes well, we will go ahead and go to the console. Here I am inside of this Firebase thing. I can look inside of source here. And uh, here is the Firebase config.js. Okay. And you'll notice there's a bunch of stuff in here that. Uh, uh, you'll need really you just need this firebase config it's going to be the stuff that you actually need so if i was to go ahead and um, 
paste all that junk that I had in there. Really all I want is this Firebase config. And so the other stuff is kind of already set up for you. Uh, so we'll get rid of that and we'll go ahead and keep Firebase config, get rid of the old one that has junk in it. And then you should be able to see this. Uh, we import all this stuff and then there's the Firebase config with all of your uh, special configuration stuff in it. Okay, so this is really important if you're going to get this to work. So we want to go ahead and save that out. Um, and then uh, we can go on to the next step uh, where uh, we want to uh, select authentication. And for this, we're actually, it, it turns out it's pretty tricky to do authentication um, <clears throat> with Google or uh, uh, Facebook or Twitter or those things by yourself. So it's awfully nice to you want to do that with an application it's all awfully nice to do that uh, through Firebase so we can go ahead and see if, here's authentication and we can go in here get started with this for my particular application we want them to authenticate through Google you could have picked all of the other ones and um, then we're going to enable that and um, we got to put in our own email. I'll put in mine and then we're going to uh, save that. Okay. And so what that will do is just allow us to go ahead and do authentication through Firebase. And uh, the next thing we want to do is to, we could have authenticated with other stuff. Now we want to create a database, which in Firebase is called Firestore. And so we can go ahead and say, okay, we've got authentication set up. Let's go ahead and look at Firestore. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and create a database here. And it seems like they're gonna ask us to create a database called Posts. And um, so let's see, start in test mode. That will make it a lot easier. And we're going to want to change this rules here in a second. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to want to pick the United States here. We're going to head and, and allow that Firestore location. And it's now going to provision it. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead um, and change the Firestore rules to allow read and write from anywhere, okay? So we might wanna be more specific if we were not just goofing around here, but let's go ahead and go in here. Here's my rules, and here's the current rule, which is gonna be uh, um, more restrictive. We'll go ahead and say that I want to have this rule. I'm gonna publish that. And it will now say that I can go ahead and uh, read, write this particular database. Uh, go back to the data. And here's the, um, uh, let's see, finish setup. I don't know. Looks like everything's pretty good. And um, in the, uh, let's see, we want to create a collection called posts. So start a collection called posts and it will then create a, uh, do the auto ID for the document ID, save that away. It's going to go ahead and create this um, document in here and you probably want to get rid of it because it's or it's going to confuse your application so to delete a document you can go ahead and select it you can then go to these three dots 
say delete document and then start delete and it will get rid of it and then your uh, your uh, collection will be ready for you uh, when you run your application. So at this point you should be able to say npm start and uh, just a reminder that when you're running this local server it's going to be using HTTP, HTTP, not HTTPS. So when you open up in your browser, you're going to need to uh, look at, use port 8080 with HTTP. Uh, it'll start out by asking you to uh, log in and you can sign in with Google here. And I'm going to um, authenticate with my Google account and it'll ask you for your password the first time. It looks like it didn't this time for me. Uh, you could then create a post like this and you'll notice it then uh, says that you're authenticated and here's my post that I've created. And if I was to take a look at my Firebase console then I would be able to see that I had created this new uh, post in here and uh, it's this document here. Notice its title is foo, its uh, text is bar, it has a unique ID and so you can go ahead and manage these things and other applications that were also uh, viewing the same Firestore would be able to see that uh, post that you created inside of this window. So hopefully that's helpful and uh, we'll get you going.